Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. Lacey, we used the word soupy to describe yes, today, but I'm he's, curious. He's gone on, Lacey. Is it, so you're, caring, you're adding on. to it. Let yeah, me hear it. Is, would you compare this to a, more of a bisque or uh, something lighter? How soupy are we talking? A bisque? Like a lobster bisque? bisque? Like yes. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I would say that's Thick? probably pretty accurate now that I think about it. <laughs> right, I hate right? to admit okay, it, but okay. you may be on to something. <laughs> no, Lacey, do not encourage me. <laughs> it's you, not Lacey. quite a chowder, I'll put it that way. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's even better. <laughs> Guys, it's going to be hot today, not as hot as yesterday, and it's definitely humid, however you want to categorize it. Okay, today, not up into the 90s, but we will see 90s in southwestern Oklahoma. Oklahoma City yesterday shattered the record high, 93 degrees. Yes, that was the official high. We had upper 90s in southern Oklahoma. You typically don't see 90s. If you look at our average, our average first 90-degree day is around May 6th. But there are years it's earlier. There are years it's later. Today, though, still hot, still windy. The warm front is lifting in. We do have a system that is going to advance up to the north. Dry line will set up in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, and we'll have another chance for severe weather. This morning, we've had some rain in the far northeast, dry in Oklahoma City at 68. Southeast winds right now sustained at about 10 miles per hour, but there's some gusts 15 to 25. And as the warm front continues to surge to the north, our winds will pick up after sunrise today. Ahead of the warm front, you're in the lower and mid 60s, along and behind it, upper 60s and low 70s. It feels like summertime stepping out right now. Partly cloudy skies to start your day. Sunny this afternoon in Oklahoma City. We look dry. It's going to be mid 80s with southeast winds. 20 to 35 miles per hour. 90s in the southwest, and the dry line will set up out in the panhandles today. Now, the main storm system is still quite a ways away. It's the big trough that you see setting off the Pacific coast. What will happen is today that shoves just close enough to us. Jet stream winds ramp up in the northwest. The low level jet really kicks in this evening, and that does give us the threat for severe weather. Friday, it's a little closer to us. Well, panhandles again will have a chance for severe weather. And and then by Saturday, that system swings out across the plains and brings a cold front to Oklahoma eventually. And ahead of that, we'll have a chance for thunderstorms, and some of those could be severe. So that's a big kind of game changer for us. Today, the threat is in the northwest. Isolated chances of storms today, a slightly higher chance when you get up towards Woodward, Alva, Freedom, all the way back up towards uh, Buffalo. So rain chances today. In the west, the northwest, 10% the southwest, 30% from Woodward to Alva. One of the main concerns today is if a storm forms with all the Gulf moisture and instability, large hail up to tennis balls would be possible. Time frame is between about 5 and 11. And some of these storms also will rotate. If they form, they'll go up spinning. There will be a chance for a tornado. Our storm trackers are going to be geared up and focused in the northwest. We'll monitor the west and southwest as well and damage winds. These storms can easily crank out winds 65 to 70 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, that storm threat will diminish. Temperature still very mild and the wind Okay, that Oklahoma wind, if it's strong today and you think that's strong, you just wait till tonight and tomorrow. 30 to 40 mile an hour winds tonight and tomorrow winds easily up to 50 miles per hour in the northwest. Temperatures in the 80s tomorrow, some 90s in the southwest. And for your Friday, again, out the panhandles in far western Oklahoma, there's a slight chance for an isolated storm. Any storm that forms could be severe on your Friday. The rest of the state, it's going to be a quiet day. So let's jump ahead to your weekend. Here's your Saturday. 70s on the way. Dry line moves into western Oklahoma. Fire danger goes up. And ahead of that dry line, we will have the chance for afternoon and evening storms. Right now, it's a low risk, but large hail, damaging winds, and a tornado threat. Eventually, the cold front with this system will swing in and will be much cooler as we head into your Sunday. But as the way it looks right now, the timing of the rain is mainly Saturday afternoon into Saturday night, and then by Sunday morning, rain chances are quickly tapering off, which, hey, plans for the marathon taking place in Oklahoma City. Right now, rain chances are at 20% in the morning, and then pretty much ending by 10 a.m. It will be cooler and a strong north wind, but the heavy rain and storms looks to be earlier, which is great news. 72 for a high on Sunday, 60s on Monday. Our next chance of rain and storms will be Wednesday night of next week. That's your full forecast. Stick with us. We're back after this.